disturbing find in the Hamptons, a canal full of tens of thousands of dead fish. What could have caused this? CBS 2's Alice Gaynor in the newsroom with more for us. Alice. Christine, this massive die-off involves bunker fish in the Shinnecock Canal in Hampton Bays. Quite a sight for many to behold. Dead fish as far as the eye can see. There are thousands and thousands of them down there. The sight forced many to do a double take. I thought it was frost in the morning. Many couldn't believe what they were seeing and smelling, lining up to watch and take pictures. First time I've seen this in my whole life. They're not just floating on top of the water, they're actually stepping from the bottom up. The bunker fish were in the Shinnecock Canal this morning, but then the locks were opened and out they went into the bay. They're all dead up on the beach and in the water. Behind a building. I actually talked to a couple of DEC officers today. They said they'd never seen it this bad before. The DEC or State Department of Environmental Conservation says it's investigating. Local experts believe they know the cause. There was a large school of big bluefish in the bay earlier on Sunday. I had a bunch of friends catching fish that were 15 to 20 pounds, and uh, bluefish eat bunker. And they chase the bunker, and then they chase them into a canal like this, and the locks are closed, the fish can't escape. And when they get pushed in in the numbers of millions, uh, they quickly deplete the oxygen. So now, a free meal for a lot of young birds who prey on bunker, and an early gift for some fishermen. You know, use them for lobster bait, crab bait, fishing bait. Um, you know, so for them, it was almost, a couple of them were saying it was Christmas. Well, the DEC says preliminary results show the trapped fish did die due to lack of oxygen, and the fish kill does not seem to have impacted the health of Shinnecock Bay. As a precaution, water samples were collected to test for a variety of things. In the newsroom, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.